From the murky waters of the sportsman's paradise, stories emerge. Stories of the generations of people who have shared in the bounties of the land. Stories of communities that have persevered through natural disasters. Stories of the abundance of fish, wildlife, and adventures that create an ecosystem rich in diversity. And from the silted banks of the mighty Mississippi to the soggy marsh bottoms, from the tops of towering pine forests to the depths of the salty gulf, human and animal have shared this fortune for centuries. Enjoy these stories as told by outdoor journalists who travel across our state documenting the adventure, sportsmanship, and heritage that make us Bayou Wild. Hi, welcome to another edition of Bayou Wild Television. I'm Don Dubuque along with Captain Martha Spencer on the banks of the Chifuncta River. Pretty brisk crowd here at Morton Seafood Absolutely. Restaurant. Absolutely. And we got our camo on from yes. Coastal Performance. A new lightweight with the hoods on it because it is hunting season. Duck season full of force. Yes, indeed. Well, we did a little bit of fishing this week down at the end of the world, Venice, Louisiana, in a kind of deep freeze situation. It was cold out. It was. You had to put about four layers on, but we still caught the fish. All right, so now, even down here way south in Venice, we got some of the coldest temperatures that we've had all year. So what does that do to the redfish? I think it makes them hungry. <laughs> you know, it, it's, uh, you read every day about Venice, Louisiana. Um, it's a completely different style of fishery. It's amazing. Um, as you can see, the conditions, it's cold, it's blowing. I'm bundled up as much gear as I can get on and we're still catching just as many fish as we would any other day. It's, it's a pretty credible experience. Um, it doesn't matter, you're gonna catch them anytime you come. You need a net? And then we go out to another edition of The Captain's Wife. We haven't done one in a while. We're featuring Ginger Janae. She is actually the girlfriend of Tofield Bourgeois down at uh, Lafitte. So she's a hunter, she's an angler, and she's an entrepreneur as well. This woman can match any man and get out there and get it done just as well. I, as a little girl, grew up in a family that hunted like crazy. The girls got left behind. And I think that, when I got older, was like, you know what, this is going to stop. We're going to stop leaving these girls behind. And so that's where I got into that. And I still find a lot of women, they're in their 60s, they're in their 70s. They've always wanted to do it, but never had anybody take them. So that's where we come in and we really want to get in there and say, hey, girls, y'all want to go? Just get involved with us, you know? And maybe if you learned a lot, the guys will want to take you later. But, you know, that's where I, I, I love about that. Just getting them out there and realizing, hey, this is great. She's mad at everything. So she wants to kill the coons, the possums, the turkeys, the coyotes, the deer. But it's in her heart, man. So you, know, you don't really become a hunter, say, go be a hunter. It's something you're born with, and she has it. And then we'll end it up in the kitchen, and we've got one of those mouth-watering, tasty recipes coming up for you right here on Bayou Wild TV. You want to take your blackened fillets, put them in a skillet with some oil or butter, whichever you prefer, about three minutes on the first side and about a minute and a half on the second. Get them nice and blackened. This is why you wanted to be a little bit more liberal with the uh, seasoning, because some of it does fall off. But speckled trout works best for this. You could probably use it for any fish, sheephead, redfish, but these make perfect little cutlet-sized bites for your sandwiches. Closed captioning made possible by CETO.com. Become a member. Discover the taste of Louisiana that's seasoned just right. Boiled to perfection, and rich with tradition. A taste that's savory, crispy, and a little sweet. Discover the taste of Louisiana fish fry products. If you're lucky enough to bag a deer or a hog this season, bring it here to Double D. Double D processes hogs and exotic game and guarantees your product is always the meat you brought to Double D. Double D Meats in Bogalusa, home of country smoked, spicy jalapeno cheddar, and other customized flavors. 
bring your deer or your hog here to Double D, where you always get your meat back in return. It's worth a drive to Bugaloosa from anywhere. Double D. Well, recently we had one of those deep freeze situations here in Louisiana. I can't remember it being this cold in November before the holidays, temperatures in the low 30s down in lower Plaquemines Parish. Yeah, normally Plaquemines is a lot like Florida. It's down there along the southern coast and rarely do they get a freeze. And although it didn't freeze, it came pretty close. Yes. And it was a cold trip. Windy. Yeah, we were there for actually a number of purposes. But one thing we did to get in was a red fishing trip. And we did that. We take you there now to catch some of those Venice redfish. All right, so now even down here way south in Venice, we got some of the coldest temperatures that we've had all year. So what does that do to the redfish? I think it makes them hungry. <laughs> you know, it, it's uh, you read every day about Venice, Louisiana. Um, it's a completely different style of fishery. It's amazing. Um, as you can see, the conditions, it's cold, it's blowing. I'm bundled up as much gear as I can get on and we're still catching just as many fish as we would any other day. It's, it's a pretty credible experience. Um, it doesn't matter, you're gonna catch them anytime you come. You need a net? So cute! When they're blue, they gonna chew. I don't know. It works though. <laughs> yeah, he's short. Go grow. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice. Don't let the wind, the cold, or the rain stop you. Use your 20 Echo to mark those spots where other people are too afraid to go in the cold. Know where those redfish are, but don't tell anybody else. Use 20echo.com. We've got one of the new baits from Z-Man, it's called a Trout Trick, and it's it, they came out with it last year, it's been really popular, it's the elastic style bait, so you can pull it and stretch it, last for multiple, more than one fish. It's been a really popular color, chartreuse, is, the chartreuse tail has been the big key for us, um, but everybody's been fishing them, uh, I think the whole boat's gone through one pack, and that's it. So you rig it, trout eyes jig head, you just thread it on there like you would as a traditional bait. It actually has a vein in the middle of it right there where you can the hook can actually sit in and slide. And you just rig it up underneath the popping cork and throw it away. Four horseman cork, trout chick on a trout trick on a jig head. It's a winning combination. All right, so don't forget, even though hunting season is here, the redfish are still plenty active down here in the Venice area. Just dress real warm, pick your spots, and you'll end up with some good redfish for the grill. Nice deal, man, nice catch. Hi, I'm Donnie Rouse. There are a lot of different reasons to shop at Rouse's. It's the people. Everybody that works here is just so nice. Our stores get deliveries seven days a week. They have such a wide variety at Rouse's. Everything's in stock. I mean, everything. We use Rouse family recipes and ingredients found right here in the store. It's the food. Rouse's food tastes like homemade. And they're local. Like us. We also have great prices. That's the difference Rouse's makes. Hello, my friends. This is Louisiana native Zachary Richard. 
I cherish the outdoor experiences that make our state so special. And for the first time in over 60 years, hooping cranes are back in Louisiana. Wildlife and fisheries need your help as these beautiful birds resettle in our state. If you spot a hooping crane, observe it from a distance, and if you witness anyone harming one of these very special birds, call the number on the screen. This message is underwritten by Chevron. Swing, swing or fish, you really need to check out 20echo.com. It's an app that you can take on the water or on the hunt. It logs all the information. It's got the date, the GPS location, tons of information to log your catch or kill. It's a great thing to have. Check it out at 20echo.com and you'll see it more on Bayou Wild TV. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use what the pros use. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because, guys, it has more herbs and spices. It has a much better flavor. It's easy, just pour and boil. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, pour and boil for great crawfish every time. Don, you know, there really aren't a lot of women that free dive, shoot muzzle loaders, shoot bows and arrows, catch I know fish. one. I know one too. Her <laughs> name is Ginger, and she's our next feature in The Captain's Wife. You'll learn about her outdoor adventures and how she works with Captain Tofiel, her boyfriend, to keep things running in the feet. Ginger Janae believes no woman should be left behind on an outdoor adventure. From fly fishing to deer hunting, lunging at bullfrogs and everything in between, you'll find her doing it right beside her partner in crime, Captain Tofiel Bourgeois. Ooh, there you go, girl. Watch. Nice bull red out yeah. here, seeing their islands. What you got going on? Hey, y'all, it's Ginger with Just For Does. We're out here. We're not behind the boat today, but we are behind the rod and reel. Wait to get back out there in the woods, but today we're in the water. I, as a little girl, grew up in a family that hunted like crazy. The girls got left behind. And I think that, when I got older, was like, you know what, this is going to stop. We're going to stop leaving these girls behind. And so that's where I got into that. And I still find a lot of women, they're in their 60s, they're in their 70s. They've always wanted to do it, but never had anybody take them. So that's where we come in and we really want to get in there and say, hey girls, y'all want to go, just get involved with us, you know, and maybe if you learn a lot, the guys will want to take you later. But, you know, that's what I, I love about that, just getting them out there and realizing, hey, this is great. She's mad at everything. So she wants to kill the coons, the possums, the turkeys, the coyotes, the deer, but it's in her heart, man. So, you know, you don't really become a hunter, say, go be a hunter. It's something you're born with, and she has it. But truthfully, her competitive edge in the outdoor world of hunting and fishing is also what helps keep Bourgeois Fishing Charters and its lodge a well-oiled machine. She does the branding, meaning branding the logo, the name, the location, the facility, and the experience. So she's in charge of marketing, the social media, uh, everything entailed with that, or as from you know, getting a, all I'll say from hats to shirts lined up to dealing with sponsors to setting up media events. So it's a lot of behind the scenes. I get his clothes out, you know, I clean up his mess, we clean up the boats, the planes, it's a whole lot to do around here, you know, we really have a lot of things to do to make everybody happy, and that's our main goal is customer service, you know, we really want to make everybody happy and give them beyond what they're expecting. It's not easy running a lodge, and the power couple wear many hats as they accommodate anglers and hunters from around the world. But the couple's passion for sharing their Cajun heritage is why they love all of their time together, whether working or at leisure. You know, people have hours through the day that they try to put in, so ours is months. So we have this nine month thing that we go through here, it's 24 seven. Everybody coming and enjoying their time here and enjoying the hard work you put into the place. I really enjoy seeing people happy. Because every day we do things, we plan things. Like next year we're trying to go to the Galapagos Islands. We're going to go to Argentina. 
You know, so we are trying to say, live the dream in a sense, like do it now while you're young. Now, I'll tell you out with this. My grandpa told me you're gonna be the old guy sitting on the porch talking about the stuff you did, not the stuff you wish you would've did. I'd like to do a little stuff in Canada. We've been, done fishing in Alaska. I'd like to hunt Alaska a little bit. Maybe sheep, white sheep in Alaska, something like that. But um, yeah, I'm excited to do something like that different. When it's really cold, when it's snowing outside, I'll bring her to the stand in the morning and I go back and watch the fire, drink my coffee. You know, and she's out there in that stand with the snow blowing. And I'm not that mad at them. We all know somebody with an I'll try anything at least once attitude, which is how Ginger's developed a love for a wide variety of Cajun activities, like hunting with a muzzle loader to free dive spearfishing. Having an adventurous attitude while always keeping things fun is why she thinks she and Tofield click so well. I, tell you, I said, if people get to see us now, if we had a video camera on us right now, because we are so compatible, it's just like, just things that we can do and say. I don't know, that's, that's my favorite. So we out here watching this creek right here. It's real important to be quiet. So Ginger says she wants a snack. I don't know how quiet you can be eating all cracklings. People that know Tofield know he's a very unique person. And I guess with you have to be unique too. So I guess our crazy, quirky, dry humor ways, I think that's what really makes us bond. It's real important to be quiet when you're out in the woods. You could eat a soft burrito or something, you know? Something like uh, maybe some pudding. That ain't too bad. But all oh, cracklings. Ginger's tried her hand at a seemingly countless number of adventurous activities, but she still has more to do on her bucket list, from hunting exotic species, to more duck hunting, to following in her love's footsteps for becoming a licensed seaplane pilot. I think it would be just fun to do together. I think we could take it to another level if we both were doing it, but um, I enjoy it. It's fun. It's in my blood. My grandpa was a pilot in the Air Force, so... I'm just ready. It would take about two years to get it to that level, but uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's a lot of stuff. I re she's really more valuable to me here than being in a plane, you know, another plane with me. She'd be an asset both ways, but uh, right now uh, it's on the table. If you ever meet Ginger, you'll quickly learn why she is the glue at the Cajun Vista and the sparkle in the Louisiana man's eye. The biggest thing for us, say, backing me up personally, for us uh, supporting me in everything I do, every venture I try, she's there, let's do it, which is very important. Every day is an adventure. He is very messy. That is my thing. So he will have clothes from the steps to the bedroom, from the bedroom. He's very, he's very, he needs to tend to picking up after him. I think that's my only pet peeve with him. I really don't know. I'm just thinking. He's perfect. Yeah, I, think, I think I'm perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get that? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just perfect. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that was his answer. <laughs> I'm sure that was his answer. In 1967, Dutch Stogner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stogner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Hey y'all, it's Sam Barbera. I'm with the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Foundation. The foundation is a nonprofit that raises funds and provides support for the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Department. We assist with numerous projects like black bear, whooping crane, bald eagle, as well as family, youth, and women's workshops. For all of the information on the foundation, visit laWff.org. We need your support to help our wildlife and fisheries. Visit laWff.org. Discover the taste of Louisiana that's seasoned just right. Boiled to perfection and rich with tradition. A taste that's savory, crispy, and a little sweet. Discover the taste of Louisiana fish fry products.
find out if alternative treatment is the answer to your pet's health issues, contact Dr. G at VetNaturally.com. If you're a member of the CCA, you often get the Tide magazine. Well, recently I received mine and saw they had an insert for catch, cook, and eat. Of course, we love to fish and hunt around here, so I had to open it up and I found a recipe I could actually make. Sriracha blackened trout sliders on the menu today. Pretty simple, not too many ingredients, but you make it look exotic nonetheless. So we've got some fresh speckled trout fillets cut into about three inch strips. So basically a fillet cut in half is what we're using. The sriracha mayonnaise is really simple. You just use half a cup of mayonnaise, regular mayonnaise, and a tablespoon of sriracha, whole juice of one lime, and a little bit of salt and a pinch of sugar, and you get this delicious mayonnaise that will go on top of our sliders when we're finished. Other ingredients, of course, we've got purple cabbage. What I did here was chop this up, add a little bit of grapeseed oil, about a tablespoon or so, and a little bit of salt and sugar. This is gonna go on our sliders and give us that awesome crunch. Cilantro, you either love it or you hate it, but that's going on top as well. And then the real hard part, which isn't even hard, is actually just blackening up the trout. You can use regular dinner rolls, or I like to get the Hawaiian king rolls. They're a little bit sweeter, and I think they'll go really well with the blackening. So I switched it up a little bit, make perfect little bite-sized sandwiches, be great appetizers for your holiday meals. So what we're gonna do is take our little fillets here, dip them in melted butter, unsalted melted butter is what the recipe calls for. And then you can really use any blackening seasoning you want. We use Louisiana fish fry, you can use any brand or make your own. It's mainly just paprika, salt, pepper, a little bit of cayenne. And you dose it pretty good because you know when you blacken something, traditionally a lot of that seasoning falls off. So get it nice and coated and get those prepared. We're gonna pretty much baste all of these and then put them in the grease. You wanna take your blackened fillets, put them in a skillet with some oil or butter, whichever you prefer, about three minutes on the first side and about a minute and a half on the second. Get them nice and blackened. This is why you wanted to be a little bit more liberal with the uh, seasoning, because some of it does fall off, but speckled trout works best for this. You could probably use it for any fish, sheephead, redfish, but these make perfect little cutlet-sized bites for your sandwiches. What you're basically looking for is this to be able to flake a little bit. You can see it comes apart pretty easily, so that's telling you it's done. You don't want to overcook it. You can see how it kind of creases in the middle. Basically what you would look for with any fish that you're cooking. Less is more. Got this heat up pretty high here. And these thinner pieces, you gotta watch those too because those tend to cook a little bit faster. Here's how I guarantee my crawfish tastes great every time. I use Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Why do the pros use Louisiana Fish Fry seafood boil? Because the flavor is so good. It has more garlic, onion, paprika, lemon, and not too much salt. It has much better flavor. Louisiana Fish Fry brand seafood boil. Find the yellow bag, and pour and boil for great crawfish every time. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Now the recipe calls for toasting your rolls and buttering them a little bit before you put them in the toaster oven, but you might want them a little bit soft like I do, so we're not going to toast these. Take your sandwich roll. Your sriracha lime mayo concoction, put a little bit on the bottom. Again, if they're toasted, they'll probably hold a little bit more. Then you're gonna take your fillets, perfect little bite size there. Call this Cajun finger food, be great for your football games or holiday get togethers. Something a little different and a little bit fresher. If you got some fresh trout, then you're gonna take your purple cabbage. You might want it a little more finely chopped than this, or you might not, depends on the crunch. Top it with some cilantro. If anything, it's colorful. And if you want, you can put a little more mayonnaise on top, too. Put the lid on it. Maybe put a toothpick in it. Total time, about 20 minutes, start to finish, and there you have it. 
blackened sriracha trout sliders. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Hi, I'm Donnie Rouse. There are a lot of different reasons to shop at Rouse's. It's the people. Everybody that works here is just so nice. Our stores get delivery seven days a week. They have such a wide variety at Rouse's. Everything's in stock. I mean, everything. We use Rouse family recipes and ingredients found right here in the store. It's the food. Rouse's food tastes like homemade. And they're local. Like us. We also have great prices. That's the difference Rouse's makes. This is Don Dubuque asking you to join me as a member of the Coastal Conservation Association. For 30 years, CCA has worked in Louisiana to conserve our incredible fisheries, making sure that our fishing is great today and for generations to come. Whether looking out for redfish and specks, eliminating gill nets, building reefs across the coast, or work at the state capitol and in D.C., CCA is doing what's best for the fish and the sport we love so much. Your $30 membership will ensure that this work and our great fishing endures well into the future. Go to CCALouisiana.com and join CCA today. Discover the taste of Louisiana that's seasoned just right. Boiled to perfection. And rich with tradition. A taste that's savory. Crispy. And a little sweet. Discover the taste of Louisiana fish fry products. Thanks for watching Bayou Wild. Coming up next week, you know, Christmas is only a few weeks Don't away. Don't remind me. i got to start shopping. you got to get your shopping done. Yeah, really. So we're going to give you some tips for the angler, the hunter, Thank you. Thank the you. outdoorsman in your life, or woman, for Christmas shopping coming up. Honestly, if you shop in a guide, so you look online, everyone seems to be the best, everyone catches the most fish, you know, it's like, what area? So the thing is, if I own a boat and I want to learn, I want to go with the guys who are giving the most knowledge that I can take home. So do I want to go catch a thousand fish? Yeah. But I think I'm going to spend a little more time with the guy who is actually willing to teach. And the way you're going to find this out is you got to kind of talk to people. So really, word of mouth, is it, it can help you or hurt you. In my business, it helps because, you know, good news travels, but bad news travels really fast. You know, but the thing is, do your homework, talk to people. Find, find the guy's reputation and make sure it fits, fits your bill. And you can get your Bayou Wild merchandise anytime. Just check out BayouWildTV.com. Scroll down and find the link. You can get shirts, hats, camo, visors. Those make great Christmas presents too. And always you can check out our episodes online at YouTube, Bayou Wild TV, on Instagram and on Facebook.